all right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far a lot of drama specifically today in the pro scene in apex legends and honestly it's getting a little nasty as the rumors continue to fly and facts begin to fall out as well people getting called out for all kind of stuff roster changes potentially people retiring as well that were in the grand championship last year for year two so a little bit of a weird day and like i said a lot of drama make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and also comment down below uh if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this so you guys may know there's been a lot of drama revolving realm as of late and this is what i wanted to uh basically discuss for the first half of the video is because there's been a lot of accusations that have come out a lot of drama that has that has come out as well and then also a lot of like you know specifically pinpointing certain people and calling them out and making up lies about stuff it's absolutely unreal real so realm came out and said contrary to popular rumors realm is not closing because of crypto whatever they're closing because of player feedback players were playing less and less over the time and overall the sentiment became negative and a new format was required so that's next meaning they are going to come back apparently with a new format but in the meantime for all of you who are quite concerned about crypto here's an official press release signed off by ea of what we do on chain and so apparently you know ea licensed esports platform rail la launches in apex realm launches in apex so seems like apparently there's somewhat of a legitimacy here and then you know also they respond with esports at an all-time low and with many teams struggling going out of business it's interesting to know that those who seem who seemingly cheered the end of three hundred thousand dollars being pushed into the overall apex legends pro ecosystem good luck season 17 legend so it's like i i don't know what's wrong like the biggest problem that realm is ha having right now is that they need a pr guy who needs to learn you don't attack the community members that are giving giving you feedback you don't like lash back out at them and so people are also saying like look man you know you you expected people to play the crucible like it was a full-time job and only you know three potential invites into a little side league here here as well and then also you could have run these prize pools without uh or could have run these without prize pools and people would have been fine but then also saying you desperately need a pr person the realm account just started attacking people like you know it just seems like they're just so like they have such an ego that they're uh they're when their ego gets hurt they get super emotional like everyone who has earned money on realm will be paid out they said this guy literally just said are the people going to be able to with withdraw the money since realm is ending or is it just chalk he said many have already have winnings in their bank account everyone needs a hobby what's yours like why are you throwing shade and now people did say like oh well, this is a james bond quote whatever well obviously if it wasn't if it was like people making people upset uh i don't think the quote was maybe popular enough to even use here like i said i just think they need a pr person who needs to basically monitor this stuff and say hey look if we want the best reputation we don't need to be saying things like this because people obviously look at this as being very salty now i will say uh, I have one more follow-up and then I want to give you guys some top secret information something that uh, I'm not supposed well I, I won't say where I got it from or what exactly was said I'll just kind of give you a little hint and if you want to believe it believe it if you don't want to believe it don't believe it I don't care so Cutnoid also reported you guys may remember yesterday's video they realm kind of called out fallout for being fake news fallout and then also saying that Cutnoid had access to what was quote an alpha I don't really know what that meant either and so that's when Cutnoid came out and said last night realm tagged me saying that I had access to a quote alpha I don't he said in fact I don't even know what that's referring to but I can confirm through sources that realm expressed interest in paying players in crypto which EA specifically prohibits so basically saying realm did lie and when I asked them about this realm did not respond for a comment and obviously showing a picture here that EA prohibits sponsors and partners your tournament may not be sponsored by companies that self-promote any products or services related to the following and number 12 being cryptocurrency companies and or websites promoting related to the trade of cryptocurrency as well so interesting because they have this very clear as day but then obviously realms linking websites about ea licensed esports platform realm to launch an a I, I don't know exactly what was going on there but uh someone had responded saying you know alpha is a term used in finance that refers to excess value generated over the market so by saying that you had the quote real alpha or whatever it was means that your content and reporting were being compared favorably to john lol all around though uh so just a weird um uh, a weird scenario in general that you know everybody that yeah everybody just kind of seems to be turning on realm now the secret information i wanted to share i, I be, i'm not going to go back and read these because the person specifically asked me to kind of keep it on the down low but i could you know share some stuff but just don't like specifically quote it all i will say 
is the word on the street is there were some players being targeted by realm and then like they were trying to like suffocate them in the scene and they didn't even want them you know thriving in the scene and so now people are starting to like uh try they want realm completely gone some apparently high-end community members i don't know who it is maybe imperial how maybe i don't know what it is i just know that there's supposedly some high-end community members they seriously want realm gone because of what realm was apparently trying to do behind the scenes and i heard it was dirtier than what i could even see or what i could read all they shared is that it was pretty nasty on the back side of this so i don't know what realm is doing but apparently it's not so good of stuff. Now, let's also update some roster changes. First thing I wanted to mention is that yesterday, you guys know that Tech was a little aggravated with Dark Zero because Dark Zero had basically stole their teammate last second, and now Tech had to, you know, a couple hours just to form out who their third was going to be. And so here's the update. Tech gave an update, and it was a little bit of a troll saying that Zerbo will be their, uh, their new third. Now, I really wish Zerbo was their new third because I think Zerbo is an amazing, talented player and uh, also a content creator for a pro league team already. And I think Zerbo is one of those guys that he's got such good raw talent, such good raw ability, but he has this uniqueness in him that he doesn't use any comms. So that means he literally only uses pings. He literally only uses, uh, uh, you know, he, he doesn't use his voice at all. He doesn't have a mic, doesn't talk what a, a, a whatsoever. So it's a little weird and I know it's a little different, but some people in Realm basically said that they liked it because, you know, there was no counter comms. You know, basically he never IGLs. Zerbo just does what he's told and he specifically does that. Now, there were some people saying that that doesn't make any sense. You know, comms are so important and I totally agree. But then also there were people saying like, you know, how could Hal or Sweet get upset about Zerbo saying that he doesn't come whenever, you know, there's been many of times where they've told their teammates, you know, shut up or, you know, don't, you know, don't let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Like stop tweaking over me and stuff like this. So there is a situation where maybe it's a very niche play to have Zerbo on a team. Regardless, I think the guy's so good. It would be really interesting to see him get a shot one day and just see how things go. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I know a lot of teams would frown uh, against it and they wouldn't want it. They wouldn't want that on their own team, but anyways long story short this was a bait this was not actually happening tech was just totally baiting here and so fallout sadly got baited i got baited myself uh i actually dm zerbo and asked him what was going on and he was like yeah it was a complete bait here and i even said tech was the master baiter here so unfortunately that is not the truth and dark side also said as a team member i can confirm that this is bait someone said so no zerbo he said no zerbo but yes luxford and everybody was you know moldy also said this is the way so apparently luxford which formerly left mls which was on uh shuby and madness's team obviously now they're now called wild card well now lux is going to be the new third for the meat lovers so we'll see how that all goes also wanted to mention that presley former grand champ finalist in the algs year two uh world championship also says that basically after they did not qualify for the top 20 to go to regional finals he said might have been the last pro league season for me i'm just tired and i don't know anymore we will see and i hope this is just like an emotional response obviously you're down low whenever things go bad and you don't make it and but i would not want to see presley leave the scene at all i think presley's obviously an amazing player and hopefully they will find their way back uh into business even with a different roster because i think this guy is just uh, a good presence in the scene as well nick Merck's even trying to spread some positivity saying nah we stay hungry hopefully uh presley decides not to step away from this also wanted to mention uh nano coming from previously clg squad this is in the scrims from last night now it's a little weird to say like oh you know who i, I to a degree i don't even know if you can take this seriously because you know you had raven playing and how was the coach uh, playing in some crazy stuff like i feel like they're not taking anything seriously but nano said hopefully this 6-0 teaches y'all to stop intentionally griefing our chances at LAN and instead focus on making it yourself. You guys should be banned from competing. And he tags native gaming and uh also one of the native members as well, the CEO specifically over at Native. And Native all only got one point in scrims last night. It was absolutely sad and it looked horrible. But regardless, uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, Nano's not holding back. So it straight up called Native out for griefing games and only getting one point in scrims last night, not good at all also wanted to mention this coming from protectful protectful obviously you guys know formerly oxygen esports left that roster got moved off and now is looking for a new team for pro league or challenger circuit and then this was coming from march 14th and he still never found a squad i can't believe it's been that long i, I remember making that video almost two months ago 
he is still reminding people that he's looking for a team for pro league or lcq obviously lcq coming up and you know people are gonna have to have this last chance uh like they're gonna have to be ready for it because obviously last chance qualifier this is your last chance it's time to step up it's time to get your last chance of a squad to form together and i think protectful is a great uh player in addition to any roster that he finds himself on as well he said i will be grinding for this upcoming split and to make sure i stay in form i'm a support fragger slash fragger with good comms and insane in-game experience as well lastly just as we wrap the video up a little a, a little bit of tier two news here Yaz, you guys might remember Yaz. i think i made a video uh about him like couple maybe a couple weeks ago a couple months ago looking for team for challenger circuit as well also another player tipsto still looking for a team this was back in april 26 like an, like i said another couple weeks ago he was still looking for a team it says boosting yet again so it seems like he's still looking for that squad a lot of experience here roller fragger uh you know 470 uh, challenger circuit points semi cc1 and cc2 you also got Floop another guy looking for two or looking for a team for the last two challenger circuits as well this guy's bumping this back up from january he's got three times challenger circuit finals uh multi <clears throat> semi-finals four thousand dollars in earning five thousand dollar nerd street land champion and then second overall <clears throat> in the nerd street winner circuit so another guy with a lot of good accolades and three times algs finalists obviously a good addition to a roster as well and then also another person who was uh you know at the world championship last year seems like he might come back and make a return into the uh, challenger scene possibly pro scene at some point which was hierarchy and this guy i hope i said that right i'm not sure i'm horrible at names so he said screw it might try con or challenger circuit four for the uh content sake not going to spend time screaming every day though if anyone plans on running it for the vibes i've got the experience honestly as much as this is cool to watch i don't know if this is obviously the way to go about it because a lot of people seem to be really wanting to take it seriously and so playing it for the whole vibes that sounds more like a you know like you said it's for the content though so i understand it but i think if, if that's the case you're going to need to get somebody who's less serious like you know someone who's maybe like a me like a j miles but i need to get better before i even start playing with these kind of people but regardless someone who used to play back in the day now he's doing more youtube stuff i don't really know how many people are like that uh i don't know if a, a prezi is doing that I, I don't know how serious he's taking it these days but regardless you guys get the point hopefully uh you know these guys find a roster to get on and hopefully they do well in the last chance qualifier also kind of hoping that tripods could maybe do good in the lcq i know they're gonna need it because they really need to step it up and i don't want to see nick like just fail at the end of all of this and not make it and then you know look so bad and then maybe quit or his teammates leave i really would like to see tripods make it in some degree just so that the content sake there you know it would just be good to see a popular streamer at the land for the view sake and for the apex esports getting better over time sake and you know making it more popular in general sake so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related and until the next time i will see you all later gators